In this part, I am going to discuss again application of piecewise linear function. And here I will discuss two real life applications related to the electricity bill. Let me read the problem first. Boston Edison Company charges its customers according to their use of electricity. One rate it charges a particular class of user is as follows. A basic monthly charge is this amount, $3.35. So this is the fixed cost. And 3.380 cents per kilowatt hour for the first 350 kilowatt hour. Therefore, uh, the first range will be from 0 to 350 and 5.634 cents per kilowatt for any kilowatt in excess of 350. Therefore, second range will be x greater than 350. Determine the cost function and draw its graph. So here we, one thing you need to understand is that the dollar and cents this amount is in dollar and this amount is given in cents this amount is given in cents and this amount is given in dollar so you must need to convert this amount into dollar since one dollar is equal to 100 cents therefore if you divide uh, this cents by 100 it will convert it to into dollar so it will be uh, 0 0.05634 dollar and if you convert this amount to dollar it will be 0 0.0338 dollar so now the problem is exactly same what we did before for the gas bill in part 1 the first function will be y equal uh, y equal let, let us denote by y1 mx plus c and m is the variable cost per unit which is this 0 0.038 0 0.0338 mx plus c is the fixed cost which is in dollar already 3.35 and the range will be 0 to 350 and for the second function second function uh, is um, the per kilowatt is this amount therefore y2 will be what if you put 350 here instead of x then for the for the first 350 units it will be this amount 15.18 so the second function will start from here 15.18 is the amount for the first 350 units and for the remaining part this is the this is the amount per kilowatt so which is in dollar 0 0.05 0 0.05638 times x minus 350 because this function will be valid when x greater than 350 so writing y1 and y2 together the required cost function will be this one uh, if you simplify here then it will be uh, 0 0.05634 x minus uh, 0 0.0563 into 350 plus 15.18 it will be this amount so your cost function will be this one <coughs> now by using this cost function you can calculate the total cost for any unit within this range and if your amount crosses this amount above 350 units then you will use second equation but in order to calculate total cost uh, within 350 units you need to use the first one for example you see uh, in this uh, in this one 
you need to calculate total and average charge for using 200 kilowatt so 200 kilowatt is in within the first range therefore you should put 200 here instead of this this x then total cost will be this amount and the average cost will be total charge divided by number of units which will be this amount and for c the total cost for 400 kilowatt it will be in the second range so you need to put in the second function second function in this one so the total charge for 400 units you will be this amount and the average charge will be total charge divided by number of uh, units or kilowatt hour which is this so this one is the average charge and now uh, you need to calculate the number of kilowatt when your total charge is this amount so the question is which function you will use in this case and you see the maximum amount for a user up to 350 is the this amount 15.18 so the given amount crosses this amount therefore you need to use the second function second function y equal 0.05634x minus 4.539 so if you put y equal um, 51.8 then you will get the number of kilowatt which will be this and the graph of your cost function the graph of your cost function will be this one so you need to understand here that there are two lines in your cost function the first line and second line and first line will initiate start at 0 and end at 350 so you need two points in order to draw first line and we already know these points from our cal calculation the first point will be 0 3.35 this is the starting point of first line and if you put 350 here you will get the end point so the second point will be 350,15.18 so you already have this result in your solution and in order to draw second line th there is a good news that the second line will start exactly from this point because if you put 350 in the second line you will get this amount 15.18 so second line will start exactly where the first line end and you need another point in order to draw second line and already we have another point 417.997 so we can use this point to draw second line 17.997 so since the first line end at 350 so let's say 350 is here and 400 is here 400 kilowatt and the first line start at 0 3.35 let's say 3.35 is here and end at 350 comma 15.18 so this two small circle we need to fill we need to fill because the this is a closed interval from 0 to 350 but for the second line this point is open and this point also should be closed because this point is included in the on the second line and you need to put an arrow sign here because the range is up to infinity we can calculate the total charge for any amount of kilowatt hour which is greater than 350 so it should be you should put an arrow sign here therefore this is the graph of your cost function and now the problem 4 
which is the second problem related to the electricity bill here the monthly customer charge is this amount so this is fixed cost and this is the energy charge per kilowatt hour for the first uh, 2300 kilowatt hour so the first range will be from 0 to 2300 this one will be the first piece range of the first piece and the let us denote this one by m1 because there is energy another energy charge m2 per kilowatt hour in excess of this this amount so the second range will be x greater than 2300 however there is another issue that this amount is the conservation charge which is also per kilowatt hour so this is also variable cost per unit so with the energy charge in each case for the first case and second case this is another energy charge m2 we need to add conservation charge we need to add conservation charge with all of them so let us denote this charge by m and the variable cost for the first range let us denote by m1 and for the second range let us denote by m2 so the cost function will be first one will be mx 0 0.05973 plus this is m1 plus m into x plus c so m1 plus m m is the conservation charge which is 0 0.00048 plus c is the fixed cost so this one will work when the kilowatt hour will be from 0 to 2300 so in the second case as well your function your variable cost per unit will be m2 plus m into x minus 2000 300 and if you put 2300 here then it will be it will be this amount 144.483 144.483 plus m2 plus m into x minus 2300 which is for x greater than 2300 so you see y1 is this and for well, if you add both of them it will you will get this amount and for the second function this is the total charge for 2300 kilowatt first for the first 2300 kilowatt hour this is the total charge and for the remaining x minus 2300 this is the charge per kilowatt which is m2 plus m that i mentioned before here so after simplification we can combine y1 and y2 in this equation so this one will be your final cost function and in order to draw this cost function we need again three points because the first point will start from zero and end at this point and the point where the first line ends, second line will start from that point. So we need another point in order to draw second line. And that point we can use from C, 4000 and this amount. So the graph I am going to discuss here. You see the first point is uh, 0, 6, when x equal to 0 y equal to 6 and y next equal 2300 y is equal to this and we already have this result in our hand and y next equal 4000 y is equal to this we already have this result in our hand so we can put three points here the first point second point and third point 
then we can easily sketch the the two lines but here one thing you should you should uh, note that the slope of the first line is 0 0.06021 and slope of the second line 0 0.02553 so the slope in the second line is smaller than the first line therefore second line of course should be less stiff than the first line and not almost double less stiff so when you are putting this point you need to be very careful that uh, the point corresponding to 4000 will not be here it should be a place so that the second line uh, becomes uh, less stiff than the first line and these things also true for the previous problem you see <coughs> the second line has larger slope than the first line that's why here the second line is more stiff than the first line so you need to be careful to put this point where it should locate it it depends on the slope of two lines you are given so in B here it says what is the total and average charge for using 2000 units and 2000 is uh, units is within first range therefore you must need to use Y1 in order to calculate total charge for 2000 kilowatt hour and average charge and for the 4000 case you must need to use the second one second equation in this cost function to calculate y and again in the last one it says how many kilowatt hour were used if total charge is this so you need to calculate x when you are given y and this y crosses the maximum amount maximum amount when a person is using 2300 kilowatt then his maximum charge will be 144.483 so the given charge crosses this amount therefore this y will be the uh, second function you must need to use second function in order to calculate x 254.26 you should put this y 254.26 is equal 0.02553 x plus 85.764 and from here you can easily calculate x which will be 0.02553 0.26 minus 85.764 which will be equal to this amount 6600 kilowatt hour so that's the end of this lecture and in our next part part 3 I will discuss again two problems related to the calculation of tax function which is also an important application of piecewise linear function. Thank you very much for your listening.